our workshop was with data science and cell imaging. As we develop newer uh, microscope technologies, we, we generate more and more data. And that data, increasingly, we can't make sense of it just by looking at these images. Right? So to enable us to actually use these microscopes, we need techniques from data science that allow us to, to interpret the images. There's a pretty big gap, really, between computation and biology, right? And this workshop gives us an opportunity to bridge the gap between fields. So the idea is to get biologists to be able to use computational tools and do data science, and for data scientists to learn to ask a biological question and to use their tools to solve it. I mean, organizing the workshop was really easy, right? Because the, the company of biologists does all the logistics and the funding, so we just deal with the, the people. Yeah, it's really easy when all you need to focus on the science and all the administration is done. The workshop was a huge success, I think. The interaction and discussions are super helpful. Uh, we're here for three days, sessions in the morning and afternoon, and then dinner in the evening. The sessions will have, uh, I guess, three to four 20-minute talks, and then with a tea break or a coffee break in between. Um, everything, everything is done together, and that just allows an awful lot of um, interactions, discussion, questions, etc. What I've enjoyed most about the workshop is the diversity within the field that we've managed to get together in one room, basically. So everything from image analysis to special kinds of image acquisition to the ways that we're implementing it in tissues or in cells, uh, all in one room uh, with the same umbrella discussion is just really fantastic. Everyone is given the equal opportunity to present their work, regardless whether you are an established PI, regardless you are a graduate student. So I think that makes it really, really unique. Um, kind of giving us the mental setting that we are equal and we can discuss science without borders. These informal settings allow groups to intermingle in, uh, in random ways and it's from those random discussions that new ideas often emerge and new collaborations often emerge. It's also different from conferences where you often have the same line of speakers and it's always the same faces and the same stories and here you've really come across people you've never seen before and you wouldn't have otherwise without the workshop. On the one hand, understanding where the field is, thinking about calibrating what we're doing to that, and also you know, getting to see um, a younger generation and where they're going as well is, is really important. One of the really fantastic things that this workshop does is allow early career researchers to come together with very established people and spend a number of days thinking about and discussing their science. This is actually my second time attending. I first attended a few years ago as an early career researcher, and in the next year I'll be one of the organizers. So this, in my experience, is a conference that brings people together, and I'll be looking to do that in the future in organizing our own next year. Three words that I'd use to sum up the workshop are equal, collegial, and interactive. I highly recommend the Company of Biologists workshop, so if you ever get a chance, then try to get in. This is my second one. Best workshop ever I've attended with really, really intimate setting. 